What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out here at the river. Water level is about seven foot. Fast moving and definitely muddy. But today we're out here targeting the flathead catfish, river cobia. Today I'm gonna to try to catch a whole bunch of fish, trying to catch a citation, get one that's 25 pounds or 40 inches long. And I also wanted to try to give y'all a little better understanding on how we go about catching these. So let me start the video off with the gear. I'm running the uh, BG 4000 with a nine foot TFO uh, tactical surf rod, throwing a one ounce jig head with a six inch swim body. Depending on the water, if the water's moving like really fast and it's a lot higher, you might have to go up to like two ounces. I mean, give or take, but around two ounces because this water's pushing it so fast, by the time it hits the bottom after you cast it, it could end up way down here. So you, sometimes you need the weight. Today, it's only seven foot, so that's why we're going with one ounce jig heads. 50 pound leader right here. And Charlie went ahead and tied me up an FG knot, if you can see it right there. We run longer leaders just because of these rocks and stuff. They're also in the water. So this is a little bit more abrasion resistant, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get out there. I'm going to switch over to the GoPro, get with the guys, and start casting this. Try to hook onto some fish. May's adventure begin. Woohoo! All right, got to remember how to get across here. Slow and steady wins the race. Got a guest appearance today. Show you that person in a second. We got the usual Chuck of Charleston with us. He has started a YouTube channel and it is called Dysfunctional Fishing. Linking, linking. The link will be below. Got to check him out, support him, get his channel started. I'm sinking. Oh my God. Okay. All right, it's not right there. It is not right there. Ugh. Look at that. Look at the scenery here. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, I'm running 30 pound uh, braid on here. We usually run about 30 to 50, depending on where we're fishing. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, here's the, here's the guest, the special guest. Boom! Oh, I'm Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Hong, guys. Andrew Hong. Like the video if you want him to start his YouTube channel back up because he's been slacking. It's all right. And there's there's old Chuck. Old River King dysfunctional fishing. But you've already caught two fish while I was making the intro, didn't you? Yes. Thank you. Jesus, man. Come on. The one that you caught up. Ah. Wait, did you do that? Oh, yeah, we did. The one you just caught? Yeah. What, it was the, what was... Oh, yay big, yay big. Good start. Well, actually, he's been out here since one o'clock. It's about 5.30 or so right now. So if he looks a little tired, it's because he's been catching fish. He's in he's double digits waders. right now. I don't. Yeah, we uh, do. We do. I'm a little stupid, but my legs are getting numb, but I'm fighting through. First cast. Wait, check the drag, check the drag. Oh no, oh no. There we go. Yeet! Perfect. So all I'm doing is really just kind of working it off the bottom kind of slowly and letting the water do most of the work. All right, first cast, not so, not so lucky. Yeet! Keeping it pretty much on the bottom here because that's where these fish are. Slowly moving it off the bottom to give them a little bit of vibration and a little bit of action for these fish to get fired up and eat them. Ah, crikey. That's not right, Andrew. Right? Was he? Was he in the butt or the mouth? Oh no! Oh, come on! Man, I need to fish over there. No, it's in the mouth. Thank you. Yes, sir. This looks kind of big, that's what this is. Yeah? Open your mouth. I can't see it spinning. Nice. A little chunky boy. A little chunky. Do you smell it? Uh, I don't fish not. very often. It is in the Ugh. mouth. Eat it. 
Charlie's got one in the mouth and Andrew's smelling its mouth. Oh, dude, it just ran into my foot. Yeah, that's what, that's why sometimes we run a little bit heavier setups because pulling them in against the current, that's that can be kind of abusive. It's a landed fish. Yes, sir, Chucky. Turn, sir. Nice, mate. Thank you, mate. All right, well, y'all are out of the water. I'm, I'm casting to the left. Hold your lines. My turn. This is the cast right here. This is it. S slow, slow jigging on the bottom. Looks like they're biting today. A lot of times they get foul hooked, and that's that's just gonna happen with these fish. Oh God, that was a bite. Damn it! Damn it! Charlie's got another one. Uh, we're not doing that again this year. We're not making this the Charlie show. Damn it! Let me catch fish and stop recording y'all catching these things. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get a close up on this one. This is a better fish. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, that's a better one. Getting bigger. Yep. All right, move move out of the way. Go somewhere. All right, let's see if this cast will work right after Charlie. Rod in the water. Dude, oh my god, if they don't stop swimming into me. Rubbing up against my leg. I'm uh, rigging up again, because you will run through a lot of tackle, but you're not fishing it right if you don't lose the tackle, so it's a part of the game here. And Andrew behind me, Hate to say it, had to tighten that with my mouth. But Andrew has a fish behind me, so let me go see what the hell that's about. That looks like a bigger fish. Yeah, I think so. What? Good Andrew's trying to move over a little bit so we can get get it out of uh, the current. It makes the fight a hell of a lot easier. Right now he's fighting the fish with the water moving in favor of the fish. Uh, pale or something. Oh, is it? Yeah, like I was saying, flathead jigging, you will snag them every once in a while. Not intentionally, obviously, but I think they kind of go after it and miss it. Then you feel them do that and you set the hook and it doesn't always get them in the mouth. Ooh, he's right on the rock. Another reason why we use longer leaders so you can grab it up top and not have to worry about your hand on the braid. Cotton the side doesn't count. You're a loser. Nah, I'm just jealous. That's just jealous talk. The wind's starting to pick up and it is looking kind of nasty behind us. So let's try to get some fish before we get rained out or something. Ah, yeet. We're not doing really big aggressive jigs. We're keeping it on the bottom and keeping the rod tip somewhat low. So that way if they got, if that way if they bite, you have a lot of room to set the hook. But man, I think Andrew and Charlie need to be teaching this class. My fish are just camera shy or something. All right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the camera on until I'm hooked up. I think that's how I'm going to trick them. I see it. I'm going to go right to the left of it a little bit. Wait, let's trick them. Let's act, let's act like we turned the camera off. But we really didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but man, when these things bite, like it is like there's no confusing that it bit because it just really just a lot of people refer to it as the thump all right we're going back to my original trick we're turning the camera off until i have one bowed up charlie got a decent fish right here that is a decent one look at his face look at that good lord that might be a measure one do we have a measuring tape I mean, dude, that, that's got to be more than 25 pounds. Uh, close. No, yeah, that's got to be bigger than 25 <laughs> pounds. That's a say. Oh. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> All right, I got to stop recording everybody and get my damn fish. Oh, yeah, camera off. Oh. All right, hold him up. Dude. All right, just go away. Just go away. Nice fish, Charlie. Ass hat. 
Andrew's hooked up. Andrew's using a six inch. Are you using chartreuse? Yeah, chartreuse. Eight inch curly tail. Eight inch curly tail. I'm throwing this and it's not working today. <laughs> I, uh, this got split. So I turned it upside down. Yeah, don't do that. That's just because I'm cheap. Charlie's throwing a nine inch white swim bait. So, I mean, to be honest, I don't really think the shape that much or the color is too important. Seems more or less like they're just biting off of, what, vibrations and... Because, I mean, I've thrown the bright colors in the milky chocolate-ass milk water. I've thrown brown lures. In my last video, I used, like, the Kalins, the curly tails, and they were, like, the color of the water. And they were really tearing them up. But yeah, I don't know, man. Some days are just like this. Everybody's bowed up. Get in front of their face. Yeah, I got to get it in front of their face. I'm not doing it right. Charlie's catching them. Andrew's still over here, bowed up. So I don't know. I don't know what my deal is. I swear to God, I caught them. We've been we've been fishing these things the last three days. Haven't had any problem catching them. None. And then hey, let's make a YouTube video. No more fish for Zach. Maybe it'll just catch like. Yeah, let me just get a citation and then be done. We think he's spell hooked, but we don't really know yet. But yeah, I mean, the, the rods, I mean, my bad. People use six footers, seven footers, eight footers, nine footers, 10 footers. It all just depends on where you're fishing, what kind of surroundings you have and what the water's doing. It's gotta make sure the rod is able to throw whatever you're throwing. Look, I was telling him, I was telling him earlier that he looks like a Korean Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta watch my video and learn how to fix that. What? You have a video on this? Yeah, the line lay. Please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 video's got like I think it's the second most viewed video I have. Forty something thousand views. Yeah. I guess it's a really big problem, bro. Yeah. For me. Andrew's moved over here to try to get him out of the current. He's gaining on him a little bit, but it's a good, good fight here. But out of, uh, I guess, respect <laughs> to help him lose his fish, I'm not, I'm not casting while he's out in the water because I don't want to get hooked up and cross into him and make him potentially lose whatever it is he has on there. He's out of the current. He's out of the current. The Crocs, the Crocs are doing it today, boys. Andrew got a decent fish. Sorry I couldn't record it because I was holding everybody's rods so they could land it. It's a good one, dude. It's uh, very yellow. Yeah, he's like orange, yellow, and I'm changing over just because it's not working out, but this is what I was throwing versus what I'm gonna be throwing being the bigger one. Oh, floppy biscuits here. This will put a little bit more vibration in the water, a little bit more activity for them to go after. So let's get this on the hook, try this. And I'm not gonna record these guys anymore until I catch a fish. Are you, are you, for real? I can't even make this up. I can't even, I can't even make, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, I need to start fishing. Oh yeah, I was on camera. I wish he would just fall in, dude. Look at that. Look at look. Little ass hook. I got hit. I got hit. Finally. Yeah. I don't think he's that big. Originally, the reason why I started flathead fishing, other than because I've seen people have a lot of fun doing it, is because I don't really fish for other stuff in water like this. What were you doing different, Zach? Um, I was thinking about food. What kind of food? Chipotle burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
this a mouther? It looks like it. it definitely felt him do the thump. And it felt good. I've been getting bites. I've been getting bites. Just have not been hooking them. How many fish have you caught, Charlie? Over 10. Probably. Andrew's caught over 20. Like, not lying. Not lying at all. No reason to lie. It actually just makes me look bad, so I wouldn't lie. But some days it's just like that. You just, it's not working out. If y'all haven't seen the other videos of me doing this, I promise, watch those. I catch, I catch these fish. But I hope I can land this one, because I remember last year, I was, we were out here and I had a big one, and it got caught up on that rock right over there. Hey, I got a fish on. I got a fish on. <laughs> Go ahead and fall. I don't know if I'll be able to catch you. I don't think he's that big. Oh, he's in the butt. You're doing butt stuff with a fish? Tell him how you really feel. Not happy. Playing tug of war with the flathead. Here's your butt hook fish. Now, we're just gonna unhook him and let his ass go. Tell, I'll, I'll, tell him again, I was aiming at the water. Oh, I'm just gonna unhook him and let him go. He was fighting the current backwards, so we gotta revive him, not revive him, but get him back in the water quick. If he needs to be revived, we'll revive him. There we go. Get some air through the gills, right into Andrew's legs. Slam off. Not how you wanted them. Not how I want them. Not how I ever want them. See here, how we looking? Okay, all right, all right, guys. Well, that's it. Not really a great day for me, but good fishing content. Hopefully, even though I wasn't very productive today. Some of the advice, tips, whatever helped out a little bit. Like, look, look. Hey, what I was describing what to do to catch flathead was correct, right? Correct. Yes. It was absolutely correct. It was textbook. 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 Yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Andrew. And, and good, to, good to have you back on the video, bro. Yes, sir. Absolutely. It's Hell good, yeah. Good to be back. Hell yeah. We're going to have to bring Andrew uh, sight casting for Cobia this this summer. Uh, I'll probably lose my mind if that if we yes. do that. Yes, with with old Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope y'all enjoyed the video. It was it's been a blast. I mean even though when I'm not catching a whole bunch of fish, still a great time out on the river, spending time fishing with water that's really not all that great anyway. You know you're not really gonna come out here and shad or stripe or fish. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the channel. And they're, they're doing something behind me, aren't they? What y'all do? Huh? What y'all do back there? Um, Alright guys, stay tuned. We'll catch y'all out of here doing something else very soon. See you later. Bye. First fish, first flathead for me of the year, but no, it's not the first flathead. But first time catching one when I'm targeting it.